Well, if you're 16 or older, you know about this book, the Indiana's Driver's Manual. This book teaches you everything you need to know to pass the permit test. Yet, after you get your license, you still can't legally drive to Taco Bell at 2 a.m. Anyway, I passed this test on my first try. This is actually the first test I've ever been nervous about, but did I get lucky? There's a lot of oddly specific questions on that test. Let's find out. Well, this is actually my second time recording this, and it's definitely not because I made a ridiculous mistake and didn't want to do it, so I got bored and wanted to redo it. Yeah. Not too sure about this one. It really depends on context. If it's, if it's nighttime, then you should probably use your lights. But if it's daytime, and it's raining, it might be an obstruction. I don't know really. Intersection, left turn. See, because I, I watched a video, there was something about how someone, I guess, made a critical error where they had their wheels turned. I'm just gonna be safe with this. Dangerous. <clears throat> the railroads in my town, this one, there's really no hazard because there's never really any trains at all. Uh, where is it? That's not a good idea. Yeah. Signal, blind spot, yeah. I've never encountered one of these, but I'm pretty sure it means you can use the lane. Okay, somehow I got all of those right. Uh, okay, workers, yeah. So, okay. Because I know the rules of the road, I know this is... Huh? Oh, yeah. Then red means stop. But that's not always the case because if there's no sign to tell you otherwise, you can turn right on red. And if it's on to another two way road, one way road, for my one way road, you can actually turn left on red, I think. I think that's in the book. I think that's actually one I got wrong on the actual test. Solid yellow arrow means it should turn red because it's always mentioned the sound your horn thing there's very few instances where sounding your horn is a viable thing to do this is one of those because if it's downhill on a two-way street if it goes out of park or whatever somehow if you turn them to the right it's going to hit the curb but if you turn them to the left it's going to roll out into the street so I'm assuming it's right but they're going to I'm sure there's going to be some crazy explanation to why I'm wrong and I guess I'm not wrong well don't do that I guess you should be cautious I mean it like it, like what's the context on animal is it alive or dead this is a uh, proof of Schrodinger's animal right here a solid white line uh, right edge of the highway, Slinson to the left. Somehow I keep getting all of these right, but that's gonna change soon. This is unrelated, kind of, but there was this, there's this picture on this, like, <clears throat> practice question video from YouTube, and I'll probably put it on screen now. If you know the rules of the road, you'll realize how cursed this picture is. If you know how the roads and and the markings work, you'll realize someone here is breaking the law. Someone just opened my door. I have an, a bit of an inside joke with this sign specifically. A long time ago, I remember seeing this, I think, on our way to Virginia Beach. And because of the way my mind was, and you've seen the Dora's crotch videos, I assumed it was like a person doing something on the roadside they probably shouldn't have been doing because it's weird when everyone's going and you're trying to enter a freeway whatever that is it's hard because they could be evenly spaced and you and you're eventually going to run out of the merging lane don't turn your signal use your turn signal that's kind of like 
an art my work moment, which is going to be the next before schizo video, because no one's voting on the poll. One person voted, and that was the art my work video. What does art your work mean? Flagger ahead. It's ideal conditions, not. It's maximum. Wait, minimum what? Hold on. Maximum or minimum? Minimum. That doesn't even make sense. Neither of these make sense. This doesn't make sense. So, none of the above. Okay, let's see what I assumed. I think we can all come to an agreement here. There's This makes no sense. The maximum or minimum. A speed limit is the maximum speed in ideal conditions. There's no such thing. I'm sure there's a an unspoken kind of speed that would be too slow to drive that you would could get a ticket for if you're obstructing traffic of course then everyone can go around you unless there's no passing but this just doesn't make sense uh, what should you do see if I can remember it shift the neutral because if you shift the neutral the gas isn't it's obvious and if you I don't think I need to explain that one. Don't accelerate quickly. Don't brake hard. Don't change lanes quickly. You probably won't need to. Uh, 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 yeah, you should probably do that. This is going to be a long video to edit. Of course, there's people who don't signal even when there is traffic present. Which is really annoying because you can be waiting and waiting to turn and yielding for people coming one way. And there can be 10 cars that'll turn but not have their turn signal on and you sat there for two minutes because they didn't have their turn signal on and they wasted your time. Oh, really you messed with too many railroad crossings but I'm assuming if you found one that doesn't have signals you should probably slow down. Oh anyway, I passed. But this still, of course it still doesn't prove that I got didn't get lucky. That's the end of the video.